What is going on everybody? Today I'm going to be tinting my taillights with this VHT Nightshades. Um, I've done this in the past to a couple other cars and it comes out pretty good. Um, the only thing I don't like about this stuff is usually if you don't get a good um, nice coat on the taillight, they kind of look a little faded or a little gray. So after I do the Nightshades, I'm going to go in with some VHT this is wheel paint for, but I'm just got a, a gloss for the for the exterior of the light. So I'm gonna do a couple coats of this to, I don't know, I might do three or four coats depending on how dark. I don't want them too dark. I just want it to look like a little darker than factory. And then after I do that, then I'm gonna put on a couple coats of clear coat, and then we're gonna give it a good wet sand. Um, I got 800 and 2000 grit. I'm gonna go in with those, get it looking good. And then after I do that, then I'll probably go in with a cutting compound, polish it out. And hopefully it'll look just as glossy as the, the normal taillight. And before we begin this video, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. I see a lot of you guys watch my videos, but don't subscribe. So if you guys like them, I've been trying to push out videos weekly. So if you could just subscribe, hit the notification bell and like the video just so that it can help for the YouTube algorithm. So let's begin with the video. And the first thing I'm gonna do, um, you can do this while it's on the car, but I don't really feel like taping everything off. And this stuff is not, it, it's a paint. So if you get it on your paint of the car, it's a lot harder to get off. So I'm gonna start by taking off both the tail lights, the inner and the outer ones. Um, might include, I think I'm gonna have to take the bumper off on my Corolla, but if you don't do it, then you don't can just skip this step and go to the next step, but you're gonna have to tape off everything. So let's do that first. So I got these all laid out on a bench and now I'm gonna give these things a, a very good cleaning. I probably will hit them with a little scotch bright real quick just to rough up the surface just a little bit. I don't wanna scratch the headlights really bad but and then i'm also probably just gonna tape off this tab here so that way i don't get paint on here but all the rest i don't it doesn't matter but this you see in the trunk so i'm going to mask this off too after i clean everything so let's get them cleaned up prepped up and then we'll be ready to start painting So I got everything all cleaned off and I masked off the inside off camera. I did it on the other side too. The other ones, I'm not gonna really mask off anything. I only masked off the inside right there cause you'll see that in the trunk area, but the other parts you'll never see again. So I didn't really worry about it. So now <clears throat> we're gonna give it, I don't know, a couple coats. I mean, we'll see how, we'll see how dark it gets after the first two coats. Um, I don't wanna go too dark cause obviously I want my lights to still shine through it. So let's shake this can up and then spray our first coat. So this is what it looks like after two base coats or two coats of the VHT nightshades. I'm gonna stop it here. I think it's plenty dark. I held one up against my car and I think it looks pretty good and pretty dark. 
So if I put another layer, I think it would be way too dark for my car. So I'm gonna let these sit for about 30 minutes to an hour. It says you can handle them in an hour. So I'm probably gonna let it sit for about an hour. I'm gonna give these a wet sand, the base coat a wet sand, and then get it looking as good as I can. And then I'm going to do about two or three layers of the clear coat. And then I'll give the clear coat a wet sand as well. So I'll see you in a little bit. All right. Uh, I've let this dry for almost an hour. Um, the paint doesn't look too bad, so I'm just going to go in with a 2000 grit. Um, just try to sand these as smooth as I can. It doesn't seem like there's a lot of orange peel. So I'm just going to use some soapy water and some sandpaper and just sand all these down as good as I can. And then we'll dry them up and then get our clear coat on. I just wanted to show I did a clear coat on this one and I wet sanded it before this is what it looks like with the clear coat and I wet sanded the base coat this is what it looks like with just the VHT no clear coat no no sanding as you can see there is a big difference with the clear coat and it's also going to protect it and make it last longer so I'm going to finish wet sanding all the base coats and then I'm going to give them all a nice, good, glossy coat. So I got them all wet sanded with 2000 grit after the one, couple coats of VHT. Um, got them all smoothed down, wiped down. Now we're ready to put on a couple coats of the clear coat. And after we put the clear coat on, I'm probably going to do two coats of clear. Then I'll probably give them another wet sand and polish them up and make them look perfect. You guys probably want to see what it looks like with the lights on so i'm going to turn on my hazards lights and the um and turn on my headlights so that way the the lights will show up in the back and then i'll also tap the brake light and show you guys how bright it is with with me tapping on the brakes as you can see you can clearly still see um, my blinkers and then the brake lights and everything like that so it's not like um super dark where nobody's going to see me hit my brakes or anything like that it just gives the car a nice subtle look and a nice unique look so all right you guys so this is what it looks like got them on my car they look pretty dang good to me um i have not wet sanded these yet but it's getting kind of late in the day so i just decided to put them back on my car with just the clear coat it does look really good i did notice i did get some orange peel especially on this one but overall it looks really good so thanks for watching don't forget to hit that thumbs up and subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell so you can get notified every time i upload a new video and thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys next time